Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. Tis I, the one only Archer with Archer Astrology. I love what's shaking bacon. Scorpio, it's time to do your love energy check-in for you and the one on your mind when you clicked on this reading and decided to hang out with me for a little bit for September of 2023 or whenever you might find my readings because they are timeless. And I do love and appreciate you for being here and being a part of the channel. If you would return the love for me and love that like down here for me and help get me out into the algorithm, I would totally appreciate you unconditionally forever. And then be sure to subscribe, set the bell to all notifications because I go live every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern for an all signs from Aries to Pisces, plus one card for each sign. So please come and be a part of that. And then feel free to page of swords all over my channel. Check out my community posts for details and information. Check out my playlist for some healing music with some bass covers with Bill over here. He's a Gemini. He's cool. Don't worry. He's cool. And then I've also got some pick a card readings where my decks pick you. Check that out and see how that works. And of course, all of your monthlies, weeklies, lives, and so on are neatly prioritized, prioritized and organized. Figure that one out into playlists for your viewing enjoyment. Be sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, you can email me at archerastrology at gmail.com. And you will find everything I've just been talking about in the description box and the links straight down below. Okay. I appreciate you for being here and being a part of this. Okay, Scorpio. We're going to take a look at middle of September 2023 with the end of Mercury retrograde, the end of Venus retrograde, the um, fall equinox approaching, Libra season upon us and full moon in aries energy does approach okay so let's take a peek we've still got a bunch of planets retrograding jupiter's in there retrograding helping with the assist to balance this out like a wavelength so we're going to take a look at the energies for you the one in your mind how you're feeling how they're feeling how you guys are interacting energetically nine of pentacles you're doing pretty darn good you're only like one pentacle away you're almost there that's cool so close to the three of wands and you freaking know this all right something big and yellow really resonating here all right, so as I was saying, we're going to go for it with nine cards for you with the Baba Boy deck for some base cards and then grab my Grand Theft Auto deck, the Urban Tarot, and get like a billion clarifiers for you, okay? Scorpio, I love you. I appreciate you for being here. Let's do it. Be sure to leave a comment too down below for me and let me know how this resonates and who and what you are dealing with. Could be a Scorpitarius I'm talking to or it could be a Sage you're dealing with because we have the Wheel of Fortune or the Eight of Wands. Spirit's letting you know they are putting everything in place for you. And patience is a virtue. Six of swords, proceed with caution. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Like I was saying, highest and greatest good only. That's a prereq at Archer. Okay. So that's what we got for you. Highest and greatest messages. Let's do it. <clears throat> oh, cleared up. For September of 2023, as your throat chakra may feel a little funky at times. Don't worry. We got you. We got you, Scorp. All right. So let's do it. Scorpio, September 2023. Or Scorpio. Here we go, Scorpio. Ooh, jumper. Pop. Pop with the Prince of Cups. Little cancer energy. Little love that's young and immature and making you feel kind of happy again. You might even want to talk about it. King of Swords. Because you're feeling like the energetical monkeys have been lifted off your back with the Queen of Pentacles. You're jamming. All right. Let's do it, Scorpio. Here we go. Two shuffles. One. And two. Let's love this deck for the sexy, smart Scorpios. Let's do it. Bottom of the deck is two of wands. Ooh, a choice. You're at a fork in the road and trying to make a decision is your final outcome. But I see you kind of into your own mind and reflecting on the choices that you've made for the outcome to work with it. Ace of Pentacles. To grow something new, you know which way to go. And pennies could even be something you've been noticing on your pathway. I brought that up during my live All Signs too. Um, so check that out. Maybe you're seeing pennies in your path or on your way. Just a way of like heads up, go this way, tails up, go that way. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's do it. Now, currently we have the eight of pentacles for your present position. Um, definitely deep into something that you're working on for yourself and somebody that you may work with is the one on your mind. You guys could work together or something connects you guys. There's a tie that binds. Um, now with that in mind, your immediate influence is justice, Libra energy could be a Libra cusper as well, or maybe I'm seeing all spectrums, a Scorpio that is, has gone through so much work on themselves that they've seen the, all the different seven elements, decans, and, and like phases of Scorpio's life that you go through. Your head and your heart chakra do balance out though as Mercury and Venus both go direct, so you're thinking with both at the same time. That gets you to your goal or destiny, which is the chariot. Foot on the gas, no, I'm going to crash. 
Cancer energy told you there's literally, I said, this is the ties that bind cancer and Virgo energy along with Libra here showing that the uh, spirit is, is kind of helping you drive this chariot. It's like a Tesla with a little self-propelled guidance system in there. Um, kind of like, you know, like you knew not to like say Jesus, take the wheel completely and throw your hands out the wheel. Cause Jesus is like, that stuff didn't exist when I was on this planet. There weren't all these buttons and stuff. You kept your hand on the wheel and trust your intuition to allow spirit to guide you in the right path, finding them heads up pennies. Right? So, We've got, there could be children involved in that too with the chariot, but, or a car might be involved. Travel? So many different systems out of that one. We're going to have to find out more about this for sure. All right, now, in the distant past, we have your energy with the Six of Cups. Um, that soul connection that comes in here as you clear out the past and work to heal to go forward out of this one. There's a lot of serendipity coming off of this card and divine timing at play to straighten up the pictures in the house. And I'm also pulling Aquarius energy with all those stars that are in this one here, little yellow stars. Maybe a Scorpio likes looking up the stars tonight too. Now getting a little more recent, we have the devil, Capricorn energy. Um, some obsessions, something going a little over the top here to, to push and get yourself forward. Maybe like on top of the children with the mama of the Zodiac zodiac cancer showing up maybe the opposing sign um capricorn the sister sign of the zodiac the daddy of the zodiac shows that mommy and daddy both you know came together and a lot of money and situations had to balance out business could even be a situation on this too now that gets us to your future influence which is the princess of pentacles a younger energy to establish some dominance in a situation make some money um you know kind of work your way from page into queen energy which we did see down here at the bottom of the deck that leads us in the direction of your incoming in energy, which is the moon card, Pisces, and more cancer energy. So a lot of your emotions will start to tune in and get on, on point here as you reminisce a lot about the past. Your incoming energy has a lot of nostalgia, some hidden secrets, and even spiritual purposes that you don't maybe know about yet. The moon's keeping some secrets to you, okay? A lot of eclipses coming in October, too. That's Libra season. Nice. Okay? But yeah, so anyways, meanwhile... What we've got going on, your environmental factors around you, is the world card. 21 and blackjack baby shows up here. Maybe, um, okay, maybe one of these devil cards with something to do with casinos or gambling or somebody really just likes buying tickets, um, lotto tickets at the gas station. You know that stuff? But it's a world card, so it's a point of completion in like a, like a whole new path. Something that you haven't suspected because you've done the work to come to the point. Very interesting, and you've got a lot of strong energy here, Major Arcana, that's guiding this. That gets us to your inner emotions and how you're going to feel as the alien. Very spiritual, something that allows you to tune in more and get into more of a of um, a different mindset, a different level and thought. And you do have a lot of empathy, a lot of intuition with the Cancer and Pisces energy. So you've got your water, your fellow water signs, you know, riding ride or die with you by your side on this one here. So your your heart chakra will energize a lot more <clears throat> as we get into Libra season, okay? So we definitely got to get clarifiers on this because you've got heavy Cancer energy, you've got heavy Pisces energy here along with Capricorn, Libra, and uh, Virgo along with you. So there's a lot of energy that connects you guys, maybe even your dreams or clear audience system speaking to you a little bit more with this as spirit kind of guides you on the path towards a direction that you're going, okay? So let's go for it. We're going to grab some clarifiers on this as you see more and find your way through this, okay? So you're working pretty hard to overcome this here and maybe even feeling a lack of direction on this, but the Eight of Pentacles with Justice to the Chariot shows that stuff is starting to go your way with the Seer card. All of your chakras are starting to energize and, and lighten up into this situation here as you as you research situations to to manifest science six of swords and still looking back on the past as you go through into it to come to a point of completion with the ten of swords here you're finding the patience that you need to proceed with the five of pentacles staying quiet and out in the cold from something in the past here that you had to ghost casper the silent ghost shows up now i don't condone ghosting unless it is for your own highest and greatest good because it always affects and hurts the other person to try to grapple with the situation but however you follow your path and you know because you've got this knowledge coming in with the three of wands something about the fire truck maybe you're even seeing fire trucks lately or something to that effect but you're finding courage that you never knew you had i mean firemen have to actually run towards the danger right into the danger zone yeah you know and they 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 can't think that they have to just go for it they can't think of oh my god i'm going to run into a burning building right now and then carry a hundred and 20 pound person out nope they just have to go they have to do you know and you feel the time is right for this connection to grow in this way here like you've got a vision that you can see 
in your in your in your head of like how you want this to all play out aries and cancer energy on this one here and you're finding like a lot of work that you're putting into it to find the pieces of the energetical puzzle to make all this stuff work on this one here setting new boundaries much like a frame and a view and directing like behind the scenes producing your own life story and like setting boundaries for yourself and knowing your worth and knowing that you uh, you can understand to let things come in here this is like letting new doors open up for you with this mage card and the seer maybe you actually are some form of like a seer or um, a clairaudient or clairvoyant like i mentioned before that keeps coming up to this one here and this is like guiding you three of wands towards new doors that may start opening for you or even some older doors that you had locked away because you still had those keys set aside and they may start to open up here and doors you didn't think would open up all right so it's going to be something very new and very different with the eight of wands this energy is another connection of communication and i can see you actually even speaking in your dreams to each other maybe you have dreams about them which is a way of spirit talking while they're dreaming about you too and that's cancerous energy to go that deep into your intuition to communicate that way and it's really, really, really like two of them on the planet right it's strong when you get to that point so i see that there of you stepping back into your power molecular bonded crab shell as you grow through it and you start to feel more confident eight of wands to the four of pentacles you're protecting yourself my scorpio and you're starting to feel more comfortable with it and you're embracing the energy and being yourself a lot more for the first time never letting go of those feelings those emotions and the things that you cherished and kept to yourself queen of swords gemini energy and communication and looking at both sides of things all the time through it here as you start to feel more confident you start to level up into that situation gemini energy you know you get to be more of yourself for the first time and you actually feel comfortable in it too. You, you know they put you through so much in the past on the situations here that you couldn't let it hold you back any longer and you actually protected your words your minds your ideas and all of that that goes along with it capricorn taurus and gemini energy and it makes me see a feather off of this one here for some reason with the queen of swords lost into the thought here perhaps like i'm talking to a scorpio that you've been seeing feathers more on your path lately or like even like a feather stuck to your car or something like that and or you have a tattoo of a feather possibly even i could see that and you like with cursive writing like a feather with cursive on it or something like that and the and the feather is symbolizing like the freedom and the passion as you go through this with the tower the 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 rising out of these ashes here much like now in this here hydrodynamic energy shows that this tower and the statue of liberty's torch are rising out of the water the water is not being sucked downward it's being pushed upward as these come out here like rising from a phoenix out of the ashes and like you clear with that justice energy your head and your heart chakra and it allows you to proceed forward in like a whole different mindset it's like rebuilding from energies of the past with that mercury retrograde that was really getting us to focus on these things and i'm i'm seeing like like being able to fly away from the energies with that feather energy of just free as a bird into a new mindset at that oh that's a good beatles song that reminds me of a good beatles song it, one of the last beatles songs that they made was free as a bird and paul george and ringo got a, a cassette tape of john singing and playing piano john lennon singing and playing piano from yoko ono and they took it into the studio with jeff lynn who's like a master producer this the engineer like extraordinaire um like earth wind and fire stuff and electric light orchestra like big time production and they took this little old freaking maxell cassette and turned it into one of the beatles final songs and it just wound up being a masterpiece built out of something very tragic because john wasn't there but paul mccartney used to say that all he had to do was put the headphones on and close his eyes and it was like john was just in the other booth recording type of a thing it it transitions you to another energy another astral plane and feeling good about it there we are so grateful spirit thank you very much thank you um this right here is like the definition of rising out of the ashes into this one and it's 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 a complete rebirth on this from the past here you're learning from those mistakes and feeling safe to proceed it's like a long-term a long-term play because you've cleared out that energy with the eight of pentacles the eight eight connection comes out too 
we're getting clarifiers that are, are synchronizing on each other as they both show up here. Um, even the 8-8 Lionsgate portal or something about Leo season or a Leo energy may blanket over into this here on top of that Virgo to go really deep internally. That's where Mercury retrograde happened and to see through all of that and then rise out of the ashes in a Princess of Pentacles. Very grounded, very stable in your energy. You might even have some Torian placements within your chart or just straight up more fixed energy or heavy Scorpio in your chart here. And, and that's the energy like that can get you to a point of feeling much more lifted than in the past and and like hearing and, and getting rid of like generational curses generational um things and like a scorpio that would sit here in the past and be like why does this always happen to me why does it always happen to me so now just kind of shrug it off and giggle and go this 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 ain't happening to me this ain't happening to me you know and it allows you to go in a different way it's kind of like like i just i just heard heath ledger in my head go why so serious scorpio you know and it's kind of like you have to have the tower moments to the front of the wands you have to do what you have to do to survive and work your way through college sometimes scorpio you know and it it brings in new energies and gets you through ten of swords right so we have to always remember to to have a little laugh at death you know because three of swords in the end death has its last laugh at us it gets the last laugh so you you can't fear it. you have to embrace it and this here shows you working from the past to clean off that energy i love the this is the first time i've pulled this energy off of a three of swords in any deck that's why i love this deck i love what i do because look at this those three swords are actually in the bathtub and they're already being cleaned off so they can be hung back up and you remember the past but all the blood and the sweat and the tears are cleaned away and wiped away nine and three maybe your life path number nine or three or 93 could be a number that is of angel significance to you and with a twinning mirroring energy of this eight pentacles showing up twice eight to eight that gives like a 93 93 connection to it nice so at that point there maybe at that you got to that point where you realize it's like you know sometimes we don't have to cry over spilled milk and we can still very much remaster that old cassette tape into something that's just beautiful and Find some energy from the past to build and begin again. The Fool card, Aries energy, jumped out off the deck, letting you know you're on this right path. And maybe this is applying something from what you've seen before, what you've, what you've been through and what you've gone through. Uh, like perhaps it's like a failed marriage. Perhaps it's like years of fighting over the kids, fighting over the money. All that stuff that people don't talk about, but you, you work through it on your, on your own, in your own time, in your own energy. And I see something about a clock, you know, or or like tick tock, tick tock, time's ticking. Caitlin Petty staring at the ceiling, you know, like playing on repeat as you work through this. But you do it. And the new beginning literally pops from the deck and a wish gets granted. Four of Wands. It brings soulmate energy back together on this one here. And it's like something, somebody that you never thought you'd hear from again reaches out. Like you never thought you'd hear from them again in like forever you know and then it happens or it's like a failed eight of pentacles business attempt with the ten of, of swords gemini energy that you come back together to go okay i've got one more business idea let's give it one more shot let's see what we got here and sure sometimes three of swords some energies um have to fall by the wayside as you go like hmm, collateral damage i see okay well maybe we'll try again next time well not a maybe you're going to try again next time like michael newton talks about the, the, the soulmate cycle and the reviews that we have as we transition out of one time into the next and we pick up on those same frequencies, the energies that will connect us and get us on that wavelength when we come back into this one. So you guys met each other before and you meet each other again regardless of the situations or the outcome here. It's like y'all are on that frequency. It just everything is energy and, and what you manifest manifests you as part of it's in your energetical blueprint. And by clearing out that kind of energy you stand your power and bring in new cycles new energies that are from the same past life review it's like going out of one car door and getting into another car door heavy aries energy with the emperor shows up here so grateful on that one um you take the time and you cut your losses you know no one to hold them no one to fold them 21 world card and you move forward it's what helps guide them back to you because the, the your the energy you're giving off is just breathtaking and 
Spirit has your protection here for the both of you through all of this and everything that you went through. Nine of Wands, Sagittarius energy, and a wall that Donald Trump will be jealous of. It's freaking huge. Sagittarius felt it, and that knowledge allows you to go forward here and get rid of the energetical vampires. Get rid of the Five of Swords, the energetical vampires, the, the toxic mindsets. And it allows you, you, you're the rocks in your life to just shine through. Brilliant. Five of Swords, you know, and that's clarifying your world card. 21 showing up like we were talking about. That guides you guys right together here. And this here, your inner emotions, the alien. I'm, I'm seeing a praying mantis. I'm seeing a praying mantis, Scorpio. And, and so grateful. Thank you. Because, um... Yeah, four cups. Did I not just mention crying, you know, not crying over the spilled milk and the collateral damage, cancer energy, but remembering that everything is energy and what you resonate resonates, you know what I mean? And it's when <clears throat> maybe you've seen a praying mantis, page of swords in your path, um, or, or even maybe possibly it landed on you or something here. And what that is here, when a praying mantis crosses your path, that means, Scorpio, that your role on this earth is completely different to that of all others, Scorpio. And you have a very unique energy that, that once you've seen a praying mantis, it, it's, it's, that, it, it's symbolizing that a spiritual awakening or a spiritual experience is near. Wheel of Fortune. I just got chills. I just got shivers straight up my spine. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. So grateful. We, um, you've got... If you, especially if a praying mantis flies past your path or lands near you or on you or, or some of that effect, or you've seen one, um, you have a spiritual awakening. Spirit is guiding this here. There's an experience near that you're going to experience, and it will completely alter your energy with the sun card, Leo energy, and that passion and that heat of the center of the universe. I told you this is going to be dramatic here. It's it's life altering it's life altering your path altering your energy altering just by seeing this praying mantis in the pathway here it's letting you know that th this dr dramatic shift or this change movement in the energy is taking place and and that you're there you're in it it's a completely different energy and you're going to discover so many deep internal secrets about yourself moon card emperor card the sun the fool card as you go into this new mindset this new energy and to take this whole new beginning here, it's going to put you into a completely different place than you are. And with this moon card, the secrets, the energies um, about yourself that are coming to the surface are going to take you in a completely different direction, a completely different love. My goodness, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. We are so truly grateful. Goodness. Um, yeah. So, Scorpio, that was intense right there very much so so if this resonates you've got heavy cancer heavy pisces leo energy virgos here sagittarius libra gemini um taurus and cappy like literally everybody has shown up for this uh that energy of a giant energetical shift and ushering in this whole new um energy about yourself a whole new aura is intense Whew, nice grateful scorpio if this resonated in, in any way shape or form i totally want to know leave a comment down below fill me in for show and um love that like for me please and help get me into the algorithm i'd appreciate it very very much um subscribe set the bell to all notifications remember i go live every monday monday, monday. that's old school there's some retrograde for you rewind no take twos this is this is real deal I go live every Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern time for an all signs from Aries to Pisces. Definitely set the bell for all notifications. And you can also follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Archer Astrology. I'm kind of like everywhere. All the links are in the description box down below, also in the comments for you. And feel free to page your swords throughout my channel. Check out my playlist for some healing music, some bass covers with Bill over here. He's a Gemini. He's all right. And um, I've also got some pick a cards where my decks pick you. That's a good time. So feel free. Page of Swords, hang out and be a part of the familia. I appreciate you and love you unconditionally, Scorpio. Thank you for being here and being a part of my energy. I hope you make it the best one yet. Until we meet again, Scorpio, namaste. Peace out, Archer. Yeah, cheerio. Love you.